Hi. Uh, today we will discuss KSA what I mean what and e invoicing and barcode barcode printing. So the sharp three things that came up recently. And when when we say about uh, KSA what report, a uh, KSA what and e invoice implement implementation, it will come all over the GCC because it's it's part of GCC resolution. So some can, countries it will be late on, but anyway, it eventually it will be the all countries. So the report, the, the process will be same. So it'll, it it will be there on all countries. And when we start, before we start, we should uh, we should thank Ahmed, Faisal. They are the one the main contributor for this code, and uh, along with the community. So. It, the code the code is open and it's available here you can note down the url if you want to make minor changes here up and down uh, for example we have some, some Qatar company Bahrain companies they want to add uh, barcode on on regular invoices we use the same code uh, with, with minor changes so uh, the code is available it, it, it's public open source and again thanks for that so let's let's start first when you are opening you must see it here on the accounting tab there are two two new items one is ksa bat report and one is ksa bat set so if you if you don't see any of it there is a technical issue uh, on version 13, the new new update with versions uh, version 13, 16, um, new patches if you have implemented, you should see this. But if you don't see this, then we have it's a technical issue. You have to contact our support, or we regularly update on our Twitter account or our our uh, processes. So we have we have put it here so you can you can just um, see it here. We regularly update technical issues and the implementation is here on our, our Twitter account. So you can follow us on the Twitter and you can you, so you can solve it yourself or you will get it. On version 12 and 12, we have tested it. Minor issues are there, but on version 13, all works very well. So first let's go to KSA VAT setting. So here for, for your company, you will see you need to make different rates. Before that, there are regular VAT settings that you can see tax templates. So it's it's pretty much common for all the countries. So here there are tax templates so if you need to have a tax template on case VAT reports and case VAT implement you first need to create item tax template here so these templates are generally going to the items so it's going to the item so what we will do here here in in saudi arabia there are multiple rates i mean not multiple rates. It's actually it's uh, the rate is fifteen percent. Before it was five, now it's fifteen percent. And there is there are some other we put for testing. More normally it's it's for there are items like four and all. It's x x sub debt, and there are zero value, and there are ex, export. I mean when you are exporting, there is no tax, and these items are applicable. I mean, these are applicable for each tax. I mean, so so you need to create it. This is it's not there by default. So you need to create it here. Let's say uh, KSA tax fifteen percent. And what is tax here? So you need to put it here. Like which account it goes to, your account that know that we have explained in the past video where the tax will go. If the tax will go generally to the expense expense account in the in the general in the account. So that we will see when. And here you will put 
how many percentage it's 15 percentage or whatever percent so at that time you will get get the tax and once you created this 100 percent 50 percent 0 5 percent 15 or whatever normally it's not that much then you will go to the wax settings. Wax settings, you will select your company, whichever company you are implementing. So you have some banks there, like Kansas and Saudi, UA, so you need to set up for that, that type. So here you will see, you will create one row. It says, okay, this is the new type of company. Whenever, let's say tomorrow it's changes to 20%. Or reduce to 12 percent, so you will put a new tag or something like that. Then you will you will select the tax template that you have already created and put it here and put it here and put the account, whichever the account it is, there, which account is for so that type of details. You put this is uh, the chart of account, your accountant knows that, otherwise, refer to our past videos. Then after that. You go to each item. Each items, I mean, which item belongs to which category of tax? That's that's very really important. So some items they don't have tax. Some items they have double tax. Some if you are exporting, it there is no tax. And for gold and all, there is extra tax, fifty percent, hundred percent. This is all legal things. I'm not explaining that, but you will get it. So if you are selling a pen. It's fifteen percent. So you go to the item list. You go to the item list and take pen. And for the pen, you just put tax. There is a tax here. You can define what is the tax type. I have already defined it, so I am not repeating that. But you can select which are the tax here. The tax. Okay, that's it. That's pretty much over for the tax setting for the pen. You, this is 15% and I will put for the testing, I will put something like a stapler. I will put a stapler, the same tax I put here 50%. So you can just select whichever. So for the stapler there is no 50% but it's for the, for testing I put 50%, 15%, 50%. So there is a pen with 15% and sharpener, no, stapler with 50%. Okay, I put it both. Now, when you are buying and when you are, when you are selling, you must decide which is the item. So now I am creating one, one sales invoice. Okay, sales invoice. So when I'm creating a sales invoice, see it here, I take a customer. Bolivia associates, whatever, a customer. So here you would see there is an Arabic name. An Arabic name is mandatory for uh, Saudi Arabia now for e-invoicing and for VAT, VAT papers. So if you don't have, you normally on your implementations, if it's not Saudi Arabia, region is not Saudi Arabia, you don't have it, Arabic. Now you have an Arabic after you have this e-invoicing module. So this is mandatory and if you don't have it, you cannot make an invoice. So you have to go to the customer. You have to go to the customer and add, add an Arabic name. Customer, customer list and here you have to make an Arabic name. So you can see it here, an Arabic name. Arabic name. That's, that's very important. Now, when you are creating a sales invoice, we are returning to the sales invoice screen. Go to the item, take your pen. So when you put a pen and it's a uh, 18 Saudi area, so what happens here? You can see that uh, the the total it's it's 2.7 Saudi real 
fat and 20 total is 20.70 the actual invoice is 18 real 18 real actual invoice then tax and then total 20 so this is it it, it is like that so i add one more item let's start now add a sharp note i put 10 quantity so this uh, for the testing i put 50 percent tax so look Sorry, it's not sharpener. For sharpener, I didn't, I didn't put the, I didn't put the tax here. I put for here for the sharpener. I put 50, 15 percent. So look at here. Here you can see the total amount is 60 and 50, 60 and 30 tax. So uh, 60 real uh, total invoice. So it will be 30 and total. Uh, so you will see here so you you can see here the taxes amount and the and the total so it will be like you you see here uh, the, here the original invoice and here the total of the invoice and here and the, the taxes, the total taxes. So the total taxes is 32.70 and this thing goes. So when you now you try to save it after. Address. It has nothing to do with this. That. So I put it here. Now you see here when you print it, there are there is a standard KSA format. No, oh, sorry, there is a standard VAT invoice format. You can you can make minor adjustment here and there. Let's see. Uh, you know you have better hair than for this. But the main point is you have a barcode now on the invoice and when you are printing into pdf also you can see here your your barcode so this is this is this is the most important thing so when you see it here uh how you know you will see that if you if you want to see the barcode is working or not there is there is a there's an app that you can you can get it from the internet this is this is the app i am using the i think there are many so this postbank technology they have they have for the public interest they have published one invoicing reader so you install it on the android and iphone also i cannot show that in the screen but i just uh, took a screenshot it will be it will be like this this one this one so you open that and scan it and scan it like the screen is for the scanning it will come like first screen and when you are scanning it you will see on your mobile phone this invoice this is the Saudi VAT invoice so this you will get it. This is actually recently amended. Uh, we, I mean, for if your company is not in Saudi Arabia, you want you want a full invoice to display and all things. You you can contact us. We have other formats for uh, uh, for barcodes, so you can just publish for your own people. Like you want to put it on a quotation, or you want to put it on a tender or something. If you want it on the barcode, you can publish it. But this is a standard format for Saudi Arabia. So you can you can just use it now we will come back to the original so here we have we have already have this yes the settings and everything now you will go for the battle so on the what reports 
uh, I, didn't, I didn't submit that invoice but you will see okay on the purchase also you will you will go through the same step because i for the items you have already saved so at the time of purchasing also it will come to purchase so you will get this is the report so you can put the date from here to there i don't need to explain all of you at and you will get vat on sales and vat on purchases and and the difference you will pay to the government so when i say that you will pay to the government so it will be there in the chart of account because uh, you will you will set up a you will have it on it has to be there on the chart of account so it will be there the liabilities and the current liabilities and it will be in tax all the taxes are there so duties and taxes so i mean accountants will put on different headers and all it's an accountant job but again we have explained in the past video so you just go there and you will see what are the what what is available here so you will you will see the ledger it is it's in a traditional ledger apart from what we have from the from the report so this is there so this is your liability so uh i think i think that's that's clear so if you can if you need any any detail it's pretty cold here how cold sorry for that so send as your uh, comments and questions everything to support at erpgov.com and subscribe our channel and follow us on the, the twitter or twitter account erpgov itself so follow us we, we regularly update technical details there and uh, we have our web website also we are updating the node we talk to you so, so thank you thank you for thank you for patiently listening to this appreciate you joining thanks